Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title, I'm doing something I'm very, very excited about. So I've always wanted to have like a designated art area like my apartment but I haven't really had that much space for it really or I haven't made space for it but I did push some things around to make some space so I can make my own little art section in my living room. My living room is already crazy anyway. Nothing really makes sense. Nothing really matches so I don't really care anymore about like what it looks like because I, I think it just only matters to me what my apartment looks like and I'm not gonna try to like make it look nice for other people. My apartment like has stuff everywhere but that's just because I like to collect things but I was able to make a little space where I can put all of my art stuff, hopefully. And I also want to decorate the walls with like art and stuff like that, just so I have an, a place in my apartment that inspires me to do art. Because the only time I really get inspired to do art is when I'm sitting outside and it's just because the lighting's really good. So I want a place inside that makes me feel inspired to like paint and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you all of the stuff that I got and then we're just gonna start building and decorating. Before I get started, I just wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Anchor, and I'll get into them in a little bit later in the video. So this is the area that I've made designated space for. Um, it may not look like much now because there's stuff everywhere, but these are just the boxes of all the things that I'm using for this little area. So this box right here is desk, and then I have some organization things down there. And I also have some new pet stuff down here because I have to do a pet video because I'm getting a new pet this Friday. So yeah, there's like pet stuff there too. But this is the area I have designated for my desk. And I think it's gonna fit perfectly because I did measure it. Hopefully it'll work out good. So first I'm just going to start building the desk and then we're going to reorganize everything. As you can see from down here, I just got some organization things to help. I got this to organize my sketchbooks. There are little cups in here. Got some organization things to hold pencils and all of that. And then I also got this to organize my paint brushes. So I might need to get some more organization things, um, but this is what I got for right now. I also got a lamp that will hook to the side of the desk and it has a bunch of different like colors and stuff with it. So I have good lighting just in case the lighting is not good for certain days.
anyone who does art knows that if you're using your laptop or iPad or phone for references, your phone dies super fast. So today I am showing you the Anchor Nano Charger. The Anchor Nano can charge the iPhone 12 and previous iPhone models up to three times faster with an original 5W charger. Although this was designed for the iPhone, it can charge other phones and products that use USB-C charging. Charging your phone for 15 minutes with the Anchor Nano will allow you to listen to music for up to eight hours or play a game for up to one and a half hours. It is also 50% smaller than the Apple iPhone's original 20 watt charger. I have used this charger every day since getting it and it works absolutely amazing and it charges my devices so quickly and I love using it for my iPad at my art desk because I use my iPad pretty much the entire time as a reference when I am making art. So I definitely recommend checking out this charger down below. I will have a links down below for the charger and their website. So if you would like to get a new charger that charges your USB-C products quicker, definitely check out the link down below. Again, thank you Anchor so much for sponsoring this video. So as you could see, I was using my iPad as a reference to make Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle and I'm actually pretty proud of this. I used the Himi gouache paint and for the first time using it I'm actually pretty proud of the way that it came out and I do definitely want to make more gouache pieces. Okay guys, here it is. It's not perfect, but it's absolutely what I was dreaming for. I am obsessed with it. I love this desk. Um, you can see that there's already fingerprints all over it, so it does attract fingerprints a lot, but you can lift it up however high you want it to. So you can use it as like a little easel, which is just amazing, but like you can just lift it up like however high you want it to. That's what it looks like, really nice. I had this like organization unit that I used underneath my computer, but I decided that it would work way better on this desk to organize everything. And I didn't even realize how many art supplies I had until I put it all in one place like this. So I have my watercolor stuff here, some pins, my iPad, stickers, pencils, notebooks. This is a cup just full of a bunch of random extras, paint pins, I've got, the sketch stuff that I use the most. So this is my current bullet journal. And then we have some watercolor stuff and then we have a mixed media notebook here. Then we have this holding all of my paintbrushes. I have watercolor paintbrushes in the front and then just like acrylic ones in the back. This is my water cup. And then I have markers, highlighters, extra Crayola color pencils I have. And then here I have just a bunch of random stuff really. I have my jelly rolls, graphite pencils, little smudging tools, microns, pens, eraser, glue sticks, just random stuff all organized up here. And then down here I have paints and stuff like that. So I have my gouache, acrylic, brush pins. I have my markers in the back and then I have some canvases down there and some of my yarn. Then up here I just hung up some of my art. This one is not my art. Um, it's just one that I bought online that I really like. And I also just taped my color wheel up here. I did it with washi tape so I could just pull it off whenever I need to use it. And then I have this. Um, the company actually sent this to me. So I'll put a link for the website down below if you guys want something similar. They basically draw you into any background <laughs> that you want which is pretty cool. I hung it up there because I just really loved it. So yeah I I just am obsessed with it. Unfortunately, this desk has like a bar right here. So the, luckily the lamp still clips on, but not as sturdy as I would like, but I really like this lamp. It is foldable, unfoldable. So you can, you know, fold it up when you don't want it anymore and you turn it on. It has a bunch of different color modes. As you can see, you can change the brightness and everything. So this is just like super, super nice. I really like it. And when you're done, you can just fold it up and you can also fold it again, but I just do it like this and then just push it away. So if you're working in, non-ideal lighting, you have a little light to help you. here is the final result of the desk. It has been about a week and a half since completely setting everything up. I've gotten some new things and I've just been doing some art and I've just been loving this area. It's so inspirational to sit here, put my iPad over here. Yeah, I'll either have my, you know, iPad or laptop. I either watch something or use a reference. This is the sketchbook that I'm going to try to completely fill and yeah, I'm 
excited to finally be able to do a sketchbook. Got all of my markers and just everything. And I got new Hemi gouache paint that I have been using and I'm just in love with this space. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for supporting my new content here where I basically just show my art and show things that I am more inspired by. Um, make sure to check out the links down below if you would like to get an Anchor charger. This thing charges my iPad so quickly. It's so amazing to use, especially in a work area because you never have to worry about your devices dying. If you have any other video requests, then definitely let me know them down below. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!